Glory. Glory. Glory to Jesus. For 12 years of existence, can we give him a shout of 12 hallelujahs? Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number two, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number three, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number four, hallelujah. Number five, hallelujah. Number six, hallelujah. Number seven, hallelujah. Number eight, hallelujah. Number nine, hallelujah. Number ten, hallelujah. Number eleven, hallelujah. Number twelve, hallelujah. May we please be seated. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to um, continue my saying thank you, Jesus, to everything God has done. And I want to appreciate everybody here. Uh, thank you for being here and staying pure with us. Amen and amen. It's bringing a great journey and we are grateful to the Lord for what he has done. Amen and amen. Let me start by I'm saying 12 years God has been faithful and we are grateful to him. Amen and amen. So I have 16 minutes to do whatever thing I want to do here today. Right. First of all, we want to celebrate our brother that is you have this before, right? All right, let's celebrate him one more time. It's good to see you there. The Lord bless you, make his face to shine upon you. Thank you for coming. It's a special program, so you have to bear with us and for as many. How many of us? This is your first anniversary with us. Your first anniversary with us, okay? Who else? First anniversary with us. Come on, let's celebrate. Come on, stand to your feet and let's celebrate you. Let's celebrate them. Their first anniversary. Please stand to your feet and let's clap for you. Let's clap and clap and clap and clap and clap and clap for you. Let's celebrate them, honor them. Everyone, that this is your first anniversary. We truly love you. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Please may you be seated. It's good to see you and uh, to know that you are part of this vision and dream. Um, the Lord that has brought you will do you good. In Jesus' precious name. Your amen is not agree with me. Let your amen agree with me, amen. I want to honor everyone that is part of the service at home. Um, the Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'd like to appreciate somebody here that started on the very day we met. Um, 31st, 30th of October. 2011, I called a meeting that is between myself, Mama. The other person that's supposed to be in the meeting was not there. But this precious Son of God was with us. I'm talking about Dikin Olua Adeshida. Come on, let's celebrate him. That is Dikin Olua Adeshida. Amen and him. It's good to see you in the house again. The Lord will honor you. Please bring him here. Let him sit down with us. Please let him. Okay, you good there? All right, let's send him. Come. May you please be seated, sir. Please, let's have our seat. Um, I always, it's always my joy to be a part of small beginning. Um, to see the children growing, you know, it's always this joy of parents and elderly ones. So, to see businesses growing, to see things growing, is always my joy. And it's a blessing to see the ministry 12 years existence. God has helped us. And we are grateful to him for this. In Jesus' name. How many of us were there the very first service that we held? The 6th of November 2011. Where are you? Where is Bukumi? You were not there, right? You were not there that day. 
Where is Taiwo? Taiwo is somewhere, somewhere. Taiwo, Kaini, and uh, Bamidele, Sister Bumi. No, no, no. Um, blessing. And um, um, Dikneshari. Dikneshari was there, da? Was she there? Ah. Anyways, we thank the Lord. And for everybody that has joined us at some point in time, I truly want to celebrate all of you. Amen and amen. May you please help me clap for the person by your side and say, thank you for being there. All the pastorates, all the leaders, let's keep clapping, let's keep clapping. All the stewards, all the members. Amen and amen. Let's clap for all our virtual members. One more time. Let's clap for everyone that has passed through, that have come and they have gone. <laughs> and lastly, let's, take, let's celebrate everyone that is following us from our father. We don't know, but we know us. <laughs> amen and amen. We honor the love for everything God has done. You see, when we hear the testimonies of how what people have said, we thank the Lord for all he has done. Okay? If God calls and we don't, we didn't hear, there is nothing we can do. If we, he called and we answer, but people are not responding, we are still going to be frustrated at some point in time. All of you, I honor everybody. Thank you for staying put. The children, let's celebrate the children. Where is Eden? Okay. Where is David? The full sticker. <laughs> All the children. You know, it's amazing to know a good number of families that are coming because of the children. When the children... By whatever reason, God set them out. They brought the children to this place and the children said they are not going again. I don't know what the teachers usually do that make the children to always come up. But let's celebrate all the teachers in the house. Amen and amen. All the grandparents in the house, let's celebrate them. You know, Grandma Asua clocked 78 last week, right? Amen. Let me tell you one of the things that we didn't hear about her that day. I think I've said it before, but it's worth saying over and over. When we moved to 263 today, Mama will be the one to take the broom. Mama, yes, back. And Mama will clean the leaves. And Mama will clean it at 70 something. And if you want to say, Mama, please don't do it. Mama will say, look, don't let me fight you, Pastor. This one, I can do it. It is between me and my God. Say, don't stop me from doing this one. Say, if I cannot do it, I will tell you. And that, I won't forget. Come on, let's celebrate one more time with Grandpa, Grandma Asua. And all our grandparents in the house, we truly honor. Let's celebrate and clap for them. Grandma okay, okay. Grandma can okay, Grandma okay in Nigeria watching now. I'm sure she's watching. And um, Grandpa and Grandma Oshobo, we truly celebrate and honor you. The Lord honors you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So 12 years have gone by. And we are now at 13th year. And um, if there's anything I'm sure of, I'm sure that God is going to do it again. Let's celebrate our Ganganist. The Ganganist that came to you. Bless us today. God honors you. Brother Zaya, good to see you again in the house. God bless you. Brother Philip, it's good to see you again in the house. Everybody, everybody will celebrate everybody in the house. Amen. But one thing I'm sure of is that God is going to do it again. He will do it again. I'm not preaching and my declaration I will let it be since next, I mean next week because I want us to I want to keep to the time and then have us enjoy the the weekend of celebration. But one thing I've come to tell you today 
If there is any good thing you've ever seen in this house, God is going to do it again. If there is any positive thing that God has done for you that made you to keep coming here, God is going to do it again. If there is any testimony you have ever heard in this house that has blessed you, God is going to do it again. Whatever thing that you trust the Lord for, that you have ever had anybody talk about, either you have read it in the Bible, okay, or whatever thing that it is, God is going to do it again. When we meet next week, I'm going to share with you about 13 different kind of things that he said he's going to do. Okay? But by the time, you know, going through the drama, going through the testimonies, the picture, you know, somebody has been said, why can't we do our anniversary when other churches have closed down and they can come? I say anniversary for me is a family gathering. If we brought people here today, everything we have done today, we will not be able to do it. Because we will be conscious of them. We don't want them to feel bad. Oh, this one is not going to be interesting to them. And things like that. But this is the joy. When we see how we have grown. You know, sometimes we don't know how much we have grown. We don't know how much we have grown until we started seeing those pictures. And those pictures are just the, the pictorial, you know, um, explanation of what has happened in our spiritual life. What our God has done. We have people that are starting their businesses in this house. We have sicknesses that God has healed. Are you here today? We may not be loud on testimonies, but there are amazing testimonies of how people can take their faith, use it over any small thing that can see testimonies coming for. Praise God forevermore. So if we make it to be, you know, let's close and we will have this place filled up quite well, but we will enjoy what we enjoy today because we will be so conscious of them. But this is this this what I call celebration. This is what I call it worth it when we come and we can just ruminate, ruminate and think about, take reminiscence of what God has done. Because there is something the devil always wants you to think. He always wants you to think that what he's doing is more than what God is doing. Until you take deliberate act to sit down, then you're going to see that what God is doing is much more than what the devil is doing. So I, I like this kind of um, anniversary. It's a family thing. We enjoy it. And we are grateful to the Lord for that. And I believe that God is going to do it again. In the name of Jesus. God has done it before. He will do it again. God has done it before. Done it before. Done it before. He will do it again. He will do it again. God has done it before. God has done it before. He's gonna do it again. He has provided before. Lord wants to do in your life and it's not for everybody but I believe it's going to be for many here today it's going to place upon your life the anointing of a starter that is one major thing I see the Lord wants to do here this day as your bonus for coming the anointing to start and to see what to start growing in your hands many of us we have grown up enough to understand that that is, it takes grace to start something and to see it grow. And I believe that is what God has come to release for you today. So it's not for everybody, but if it is for you, you will come and you are going to dance. 
That is all I'm going to do. You just dance before the Lord, declare the word I'm going to be going on. Is that, is that, is that good enough? Online, on ground, is that good enough? The grace to start something. That is what God wants to do for you. Grace to start. Either you are a new starter or you have started before. They want to start another thing. They want to go back to school or whatever thing that they want to start. You will come and just dance over that song. Okay? And that anointing and a seed coming upon you. It doesn't matter what has stopped you from starting. Be it project, be it resources that you think you don't have. Okay? God is going to bring surprises for you. It's, it will sponsor your project. I see divine sponsor of projects. I see divine sponsor of projects. Amen. I see divine sponsor of projects. Amen. Don't worry, I'm running off. I'm just doing my own part. I'm just doing this part. Then I will allow you to just do your own part. That's just to dance and release your faith. I see divine sponsors of projects. Amen. I told you when you wanted to start the church then, he came the other time, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Yomi Ajayi, and he asked me, how many things you want for, to start up? I said, maybe sound. He said, go and find out. And then I made the, 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 the compilation. That drums has been in the same for 12 years. Are you seeing that? That's one of the things that they bought for me. I just gave him the list. And he said, go and find out how you can pay. And things and of course the rest is the history. God sponsored it from the beginning. Are you here today? God is going to sponsor your project. Amen. He will sponsor everything of your life. Amen. All of you that you are here today that you don't know how God is going to do it. I stand as the one anointed because you have come to celebrate this 20 year anniversary. The anointing of a starter that, that supports a man and sponsor a man that make a, that make nonsense for people that are expecting you to come and be begging them. You see, all of us, when we are starting, you always have people you will think that they should be part of you. How many of us understand what I'm talking about? You start a project, you expect it, so, so person will contribute, the other person will contribute. Me too, I have people that I thought they should contribute, but they never contributed anything. And today, I thank God because they never contributed anything. Because people that you will always expect to contribute are the people you will forever serve as if they are the God of that project. Are we here this day? We are running off. Okay, it's a quick what God is going to do in two, three minutes of singing that song. I believe if God started this ministry 12 years ago, He will do your own for you. I believe with the Lord, the same anointing upon this house that made this ministry. From this ministry, we have many other ministries that have come up. We have the wave, we have the children, we have the books coming out. I've been to nations by His grace. Just in obedience, one obedience, many things have happened. Lives have been blessed and things like that. Things will come out of your loins. Amen. Listen, the Bible says that kings shall come out of your loins. Kings, kings kings and the, that anointing of a royalty is coming upon two three people here this day Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. oh that the, the grace upon mustard seed will come upon what you are going to start Amen. for every mustard seed that we always start small but it's going to grow it's going to have branches and that same grace is going to come upon your businesses Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. I say in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm praying for some. I'm praying already. I'm releasing that grace already. That that life will come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Many years ago, he gave us a word that if it gets to your end, it will multiply. Remember the word? And I'm coming again to declare that word upon your life. If it ever gets to your end, if, it, if your end ever started it, it will multiply. Amen. I say it will multiply. Amen. I say it will multiply. I say it will multiply. I say it will multiply. How many starters are here this day? Will you come and dance? Are you ready to dance? God has done it before. He will do it again. Hey. 
God has done it before. He will do it. God has done it before. He will do it again. God has done it before. He will do it again. Oh, He has raised the dead before. He caused the moment to see. There is nothing my God cannot do. Oh